I want to continue with the demonstrations using the same example to demonstrate a surge analysis. Now we can take the file that we use for the regular simulation and with very few modifications uh, we can uh, add the data that's required to do a surge analysis. Now the system data will be slightly different. Uh, we will indicate here there's a surge analysis and we have some additional data here for example in this case the total simulation time which is 20 seconds which is required. Uh, this is probably the only additional data that you have to have. Uh, also as far as the uh, basic data for the pipes and nodes uh, for pipes the additional data required for the uh, uh, wave speed is uh, essential data. The wave speed is a parameter that's uh, uh, required for surge analysis. Now the best way to enter this data is to uh, include it in the pipe type table and then it will automatically be entered when you select the pipe. And if we look at the pipe type table here uh, we can sc scroll over to the end and we'll see that there are wave speeds for each of these pipes. So when we select this ductile iron 10 inch pipe the appropriate wave speed will be entered. Now that's the best way. If you haven't done that then you'll have to uh, make sure that you enter the wave speed on this screen. Uh, the additional data that's required is data to describe the uh, shutdown of the uh, uh, pump which is what uh, the, is causing the transient. In this problem we are going to shut the pump down and so we'll uh, go from the situation where the pump and the tanks are supplying the system to just where the tanks are. And we know for example that when we did this earlier in the regular simulation there was just a small change in pressure, a slight drop in pressure throughout the system. But now we'll see what the, uh, uh, the transient is between the two conditions. Now in order to do that of course we'll have to look at the pump here and I'm selecting the pump and look at the change data which is where we describe the uh, shutdown of the pump. And uh, we do it, we would first clear out all the changes from the regular simulation and then add the changes that are required that describe the transient. In this case the pump speed ratio which is a ratio of the pump speed to the rated speed is 1 so the at time 0 so the pump is running at full speed we let it run at full speed for a second so at time 1 it's still running at full speed but at time 3 it's ramped down to 0 so it's a 2 second pump shutdown and uh, that uh, describes the transient so now we can run the analysis we just click on analysis and run it we've already done that and we can start looking at some of the results for example we can look at the pressure at any of the individual nodes let me select this particular node out in the system and just turn on the results and see the pressure out there and the pressure comes up here we look at that in full screen and we see that the pressure has dropped it took about three or four seconds for the transient to be felt there it drops down and actually goes down to this bottoming out which is cavitation and that's usually not very good you can get intrusion of bad water there's a lot of things that can happen if we run this long enough it will eventually steady out at the new pressure which is just slightly below the original pressure maybe 50 psi. Uh, another useful uh, way of looking at the results is look at a profile we go into group mode and select say this node uh, and go back to the reservoir and we do a and we profile and so we set up the profile here and this is the profile. Uh, what we see here is, uh, uh, let me go into a default axis, uh, what we see is a pipeline profile and the envelope of pressures. Uh, this will probably will look a little better. I turn this on monochrome we see it a little bit better but uh, this shows in some areas the pressure is dropping below the uh, pipeline profile. So these profiles are very useful for uh, uh, studying the effects of the pressure. This is the path that was taken. Uh, so surge analysis is really uh, uh, not very complicated uh, once you have your uh, steady state model.